authenticate on private keys, right? So now, how do we generate this public certificate and private key? Okay. So now, if you have to generate your own data power appliances public certificate and private key, you have an option in data power called as crypto tools. See, you can see here crypto tools. Just hit on this crypto tools. See, once you open that, it will ask you to choose these details like what is the country name okay see let's say I'll just start filling up the details let's say IN it will only take two letters as a country name the rest everything you can keep as you want let's say Karnataka Bangalore followed by common name every certificate will have a unique common name with which we are going to identify it so you can give a common name for this certificate let's say i'll give it as svn let's go test as a name okay followed by what should be the name of the file that you're going to generate see in the file management when you saw you had a file called chase.ce correct this is the file name so similarly now since you are generating it what should be the name of that file that you're going to generate so let's say I'll give it as <coughs> same SVR as a file name so when when this is going to be generated you will have a file in the file management called SVR.CER okay followed by what should be the validity of the certificate that you are going to generate you can choose your validity as well because every certificate will have a validity followed by you can export this private key on radio button to on also see as I said every public certificate and private key you need to have a corresponding object which is your crypto certificate and crypto key so when you generate a certificate and a key from your from your crypto tools functionality Along with that, you can create the corresponding objects as well. So you can give an object name. Let's say SVR underscore crypto object. See, it is your crypto certificate and crypto key. So if you remember, we did not have any crypto key, correct? So it was empty because we didn't have a private key. So once you generate these crypto tools from here, automatically it will create a crypto key object as well see so just update these details over here like this and hit on generate key and hit on confirm so it has generated it now go back to your just save the configuration and go back to your file management and refresh this page so under the cert directory you can see there is a file called SVR hyphen SS cert and SVR hyphen private key. So it has generated a certificate and as well as a private key. Similarly, if you go to your crypto key and as well as crypto certificate, it would have generated those objects as well. See, SVR crypto object is pointing to this private key. It is a crypto key object. And similarly, SVR crypto object is pointing to a crypto certificate, which is a new object which we have created. Correct. So when you generate a certificate and a key from the crypto tools, along with that, you can also create or configure the corresponding crypto objects for that. Now, if you see here, <clears throat> the name of this file is SSCert. Correct. SS stands for self-signed. What does this self-signed means? See, let's assume that we both are working in the same data power project and on the same data power appliance. So I had access to generate my own certificate and you have access to generate your own certificate, correct? And also when I'm 
creating the certificate i am not following any standard guidelines i just gave the names and everything as per my convenience so that's the reason these self signed certificates doesn't have any value we have something called ca which is called as certificate authorities for example very sign geo trust blue certs and global trust all these are the different organizations which make sure that whatever the certificate that we are going to use are a valid one so they are going to give us a signed certificate so even if you take any banking website you take any bank not only a bank any website you take if you look into their public certificate as well okay you can go to the certification path you can see here it's a very sign certified certificate okay it's a chase website similarly you go to let's say i'll go to the hdfc bank even this if you see one that is a very sign so in data power also we make use of these kinds of signed certificates which is a ca authorized certificate rather than the self signed certificate okay and as a data power admin it is my responsibility that i generate a certificate and a key get in touch with the ca authorities and get it authorized so in order to get an authorized see as i said in a temporary directory earlier it was empty but when i generated a certificate and a key along with those two it has created another file correct svr.csr csr stands for certificate signing request this is the one which we have to share it to the ca authority so that they are going to give a signed certificate for us which we are going to use it okay so at any point of time with respect to an appliance or a domain we always have a single instance of a public certificate and a private key usually it will be an appliance specific okay so there will be only a single data power public certificate and single data power private key you cannot have multiple certificates and keys with respect to your appliance clear certificate generation and are these cert uh, like domain specific cert or no usually they are going to be an appliance specific because see the ip address of the appliance you take it any domain the ip address of the appliance is same correct but it will be different right for each yeah. domain yes if you are using it in that way yes definitely you are going to use it for the different domain specific certificates okay then if pp is different we have to generate like domain cert uh, domain specific certificates right okay if pp is different for each domain correct yes so in those cases yes definitely if you are using a different vip kind of thing for each domain things yes you will have to use domain specific public certificate and domain specific private key okay so as admin if anyone ask for certificate so like data power admin should generate right yes correct so, it will be the task of data power admin okay can we use like ikeman tool those kind of tools for generating certs yes yes we can use it as well but usually the best option is to go with the internal tools with the data power itself okay okay but it it's 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 purely an admin task of generating the certificate and getting it authorized and everything okay okay certificate gen sure. crypto certificate and crypto key hi right? so just go through with this session okay. because the next topic what we have is ssl